Hello, everybody, and welcome back to our Terraria journey. Me and Kingston will be continuing where we left off, and that is getting ourselves some new armor. We last left off in hard mode, and we'd like to continue that progress and beat all three mechanical bosses here for you today. But first, we must embark on the journey that is destroying these awful, disease-ridden spider creatures that lurk in these caves. The Black Recluse will help me get very powerful, actually, and that'll give me the best armor I can get, which is kind of upsetting because it only takes, like, five minutes to get, but... If you play summoner, you know, you know. Now, of course, what would our journey be if we didn't continue building more houses for the NPCs? We are looking for the steampunker actually this time. We can say we actually do have some use for the NPCs as the steampunker will help us cleanse the world and also get us some sweet jetpacks. Now, it's at this point that Kingston now and only now decides to tell me that he had just cheated the game and teleported himself through the door of the temple. Now, quite frankly, I don't know how he does this and he decides to show us now while we're getting attacked by monsters the entire time. But, you know, he just builds up these walls, puts in these platforms, goes up, goes down and through the wall. And I thought it was pretty interesting. But now we just cheese the game and we're going to try and fight Gollum. Now, I don't know if we can progress halfway through the game. I didn't even know this was possible, but props to Kingston for finding this one out. I didn't even know this one existed. Now, we do get down into the temple, maybe to set it up, we can rake all the traps, probably fight it for later. And uh, as we do get set to check and see if we can fight it, we obviously can't. So, Kingston basically wasted all of our time. But our time will not be wasted as the air around us is now getting colder. And with no party, now Skeletron Prime will be spawning in, so we have nothing to be happy for. Now, if anybody remembers our family tree from other videos, we wouldn't be able to uh, finish it off without being able to completely fight our big brother. Because he is the only one powerful enough to defeat us along with our dad, but we've already defeated our dad. Luckily for us, we have his belt and we're able to beat him down just enough to hold our ground as we run back to the nurse so we can get healed up and get some bandages because we've been badly cut. We must continue the fight with our older brother as he chucks bombs and tries to beat us with swords. It's nuts, because I guess that's what your older brother would do listen don't take any tactics from me all right this stuff doesn't normally happen on a daily basis unless if you really have something wrong with you which you probably do but these things would only happen to you and uh kingston however dies a couple times i would like to exemplify that kingston is not powerful enough to beat his older brother whereas me i am you know sitting here flying around and haven't died yet and of course we finally take him down with the final strike and that's how our battle is won now as kingston has done absolutely nothing for us this entire run acting like he is so much better than us you know like he's the king of the world i quickly tell him that no he's wrong get him 163 adamantite ore that he's been complaining about that he couldn't find and treat him like a 21st century queen because you know that's the women of our day of age this day always demanding never doing very simplistic i must say one thing we must do before continuing our battle is build a couple walls for the destroyer as the spiders that i have as my summons aren't great at attacking without walls so we figured this would be the best way for them to lock onto the destroyer and make it as easy as possible to defeat him now of course our beloved destroyer spawns in and we are left with nothing to do but fight him the entire time so we get down we start beating him up and this time the next door neighbors kind of find out what's going on and realize that there's been a lot of fights going on in your house and they decide it's about time to probably call the cops so as you're beating down your next door neighbors the cops show up and start shooting at you those are the little probes that are shooting the pellets at us you're dodging and weaving at them like nobody's business so far you're doing pretty good but you know times aren't as easy and i mean they always get reinforcements i mean the cops will never stop chasing you down i mean clearly you could see our health gets very low and throughout the battle we have to keep going to the nurse keep getting health i mean it's just a struggle all around i mean the cops are just they're no joke of course i mean they do in the end you know, defeating me and defeating Kingston because, you know, I mean, you, you can't survive too many gunshots oh, no. now. Of course, we've broken out of prison and decided to defeat our younger brother because, you know, now that we're out of prison, we are pissed off and pissed off that we've got beat by the cops and our next door neighbors. So we practice on building our strength again. So we must beat our younger brother who is defenseless. Of course, I mean, you know, this is how you get that villain arc out of you. I mean, you, you just you just go here like, you, you know, you're flying around, you're beating your younger brother. He does get in an angry rage, you know, he'll do that sometimes. But, you know, you'll eventually calm him down. You'll bring him to his knees and, you know, he'll start crying, begging for mercy as they do. Now we must do the last gut wrenching challenge and that is sit in a box to get the black lens so that we could build the optic staff. And then once that's all said and done, we head over and craft the optic staff along with the dendral whip to get more power. We're back at it again. Here it is. The next door neighbor is round two of this exploration. Listen, if we win, we'll be the greatest people to ever live. We've defeated our next door neighbors from the cops. We will do all of it. But clearly, you know, 
our new buffs and abilities after beating our younger brother are just too much for them as we defeat them overall. And of course, we decide to take the last of our pent out anger on our younger brother because of course, you know, what else would we do?